The emotional family reunions of Marine Corps veteran Paul Whelan, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich, and radio journalist Alsu Kermashiva, a first step on their road to recovery. The three Americans landed in Texas and are now undergoing medical evaluations and beginning the process of reintegration. Coming home itself is really stressful. Liz Cathcart is executive director of Hostage U.S., a resource for those wrongfully detained and their families. Not only dealing with those types of uh, traumas that you dealt with in captivity, but it's also then figuring out how to rebuild your new life. Washington Post journalist Jason Rezaian, who is imprisoned in Iran for nearly a year and a half, experienced the challenges firsthand. Trying to unpack uh, the, 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 the wounds and the baggage of uh, what is inevitably uh, an incredibly traumatic experience and one that very few other people in your life uh, are going to be able to relate to. The Biden administration says it's still working to bring home other wrongfully detained Americans. What is your so, message to, to those families? This is a really challenging moment for the families who didn't have somebody come home. Our heart goes out to them. President Biden was asked Friday about Pennsylvania teacher Mark Fogel, who was arrested in Russia in 2021. We're not giving up on that. It's estimated more than 40 U.S. nationals are currently held hostage or wrongfully detained across 16 countries, according to the Foley Foundation. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.